In the world of sales, what is sandbagging and why does it matter? I'm Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live from Honolulu, Oahu, on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about sales training. At some point, you're going to end up in a meeting and uh, the trainer, the manager, the owner is going to say, hey, give me an idea of what you're doing to close some deals. And you're going to have people who are going to raise their hand and say, hey, this is the sales strategy, the tactic, the sales skill that I'm using to close the deal. And they're willing to share. They're willing to be open. They're willing to talk back and forth and say, hey, look, I'm going to share with you. You share with me. Well, the sandbagging salesperson, what they're going to do is they're going to use jargon and nonsense, and they're not really going to say anything. They're going to say something along the lines of like, well, I go out in the field and I do what I do, or I meet with my buyer and I do what I do. And there could be a couple reasons for it. One, they really don't have any sales skills. Two, they, they've got something else going on that they don't want to tell you. Or three, what they're scared of is like, if I give you the real deal of what I'm up to, and I give you my sales training, and I give you my coaching, and I give you everything that I got, it's gonna make my job harder as a salesperson. It's gonna make it more difficult for me to go out and close some deals and compete against you. And so, sandbagging to an extent can work for you, to an extent can work against you, but I'll tell you this, that if you go to a meeting and you're working with salespeople and you're giving up the goods, you know, you're making the sales team better, you're offering what the things are that can help, and you got somebody who's just there to extract value and extract information, they're probably not the person that you wanna hang out with, they're probably not the person that you wanna associate with, just know that they're, to take, they're there to take whatever they can, they're there to get whatever knowledge that they can, and you got two choices. You could shut down or you could give information. Now, I always chose, in my mind, that it was always better to give information because it gave me an opportunity to present, it gave me an opportunity to hone my skills, it gave me an opportunity to be better. And in the long run, it worked for me. In the short run, for somebody who's sandbagging, they look silly to a team, they look like that they're not part of the team, and you know they really don't advance in their sales skills. There you go. That's what sandbagging is in the world of sales, video number one. You've got one thing to do from here, just one thing, find the subscribe button, click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. This is Scott Bell Consultants and another fantastic video. You should check it out, which you should. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha.